you can create realistic and educational body part illustrations for your Tiny Doctor application without the need for expert consultation. To enhance the realism of the body parts in Tiny Doctor, you can leverage various open source libraries and design tools. Use anatomical charts, 3D models, and medical illustrations from resources like BioDigital Human Light, Zygote Body, Body Parts 3D, and the Open Anatomy Project. Use multiple layers for depth and dimension. For example, separate layers for outlines, shading, and highlights. Gradients and shadows. Apply gradients and shadows for a three-dimensional effect. Add subtle textures to simulate the natural appearance of skin, muscle, and organ surfaces. Utilize detailed anatomical models available from the Open Anatomy Project. Open Anatomy Project, www.openanatomy.org. Body Parsh, use 3D models from Body Parts 3D as references for your SVG designs. Use natural colors for each body part, e.g. muscles are reddish, organs like the liver are brownish. Shading techniques, apply shading techniques like hatching, cross-hatching, and stippling for realism. Consider light sources and add highlights and shadows accordingly. Detailed SVG creation. Using Inkscape, you can create more realistic SVGs. Import high-quality anatomical references into Inkscape. Draw outline. Use the pen or pencil tool to draw the detailed outline of the body part. Add layers. Create layers for the base color, shading, highlights, and textures. Apply gradients. Use the gradient tool to add depth and a three-dimensional look. Texture details. Add fine details and textures to mimic the natural appearance. By utilizing these tools and techniques, you can create realistic and detailed body parts for the Tiny Doctor application. Utilize high-resolution imaging techniques such as MRI, CT scans, and echocardiography to capture detailed anatomical structures of the heart. These provide spatial data and help in understanding the heart's geometry and function. 3D reconstruction. Use the imaging data to reconstruct a 3D anatomical model of the heart. Software like 3D Slicer or Mimix can be used to segment and reconstruct the heart's anatomy from imaging data. Tissue properties. Incorporate the mechanical properties of cardiac tissues. This includes understanding the elasticity, contractility, and anisotropy of myocardial tissues. HANA 3. Physiological modeling. Electrophysiological model. Implement models that simulate the electrical activity of the heart. The most widely used models are based on the Hodgkin-Huxley framework or its derivatives, such as the Luo-Rudi model. Hemodynamic model. Develop a model of blood flow through the heart chambers and vessels. Computational fluid dynamics, CFD tools, can simulate how blood moves through the heart, considering factors like flow velocity, pressure gradients, and turbulence. SATA 4. Integration and simulation. Coupling models. Integrate the anatomical, electrophysiological, and hemodynamic models. This creates a comprehensive simulation of heart function, capturing the interaction between electrical signals, muscle contractions, and blood flow. Software tools. Use advanced simulation software like ANSYS, COMSOL Multiphysics, or dedicated cardiac simulation platforms like SimVascular or the Cardiac Arrhythmia Research Package. So just to do a quick uh, summary of what we did today, try this. It sounds silly. It's uh, not silly, sorry. It's for, yes, it's for kids, eventually. Uh, but the idea was have some sort of a game model. Big trouble moving it around. Yeah, and that's not the mouth that's uh, should any indicate the lungs. <laughs> yes, they can be improved a bit. Anyway, we already have it on the page. We'll keep updating it. So it's a work in progress. Well, everything is.